Hello and welcome back. So this will be our 22nd mission from Majestic 13. Uh, thank you very much for joining. Uh, we're approaching the end of the Majestic 13 campaign as we have hit team rank 16. Our last mission was one of the challenge special missions. I didn't play it on the table. I only did it as the alternative method which should be released on the same day as this video. Uh, we had uh, we didn't actually lose that special mission uh, based on uh, the mechanics of just rolling uh, the alternate uh, mission the alternate method that i, that I devised uh, instead we had one survivor which was cap uh, we then rolled for all of our injuries uh, we had uh, one person doc had a minus three acuity uh, tank is out with a suspicious injury and uh, Speedy and Snipes uh, came clear, uh, rolled all clear on their rolls. Uh, we did a requisition roll and we got uh, uh, Speedy uh, the same gun as uh, Doc, has, Doc has been using, the uh, energy weapon. Uh, what else did we do between sessions? That was about it. I have rolled a standard mission. It's an urban mission. Uh, and it just so happened that I rolled a telemark spawn again, but on our bureaucracy roll, we had misinformation, re-roll the alien, and then I rolled a deranger. It just so happens that the deranger was the second ever alien uh, we ever fought. And this may well be our uh, penultimate normal mission, uh, which is quite, you know, second from the start, second from the end. So we have a tier two deranger, uh, I've set the table up to be very similar to when we first fought the Deranger, i.e. there are two medical centres, which if you look at uh, the second video, uh, we fight in an urban setting with two medical centres. Uh, it just so happened that it all rolled out that way. So what we will do, I think that's all I need to tell you. Uh, and that's it. Uh, one thing, so when I finish doing these, I might take a break from doing skirmishes. So that would be week after next, potentially. Uh, and we will start Morkborg, uh, Pirate Borg, uh, for those for, for Saturdays. Anyway, uh, I will now show you the table. Okay, so here we have the table. Uh, we have our medical center in the middle. We have set up, uh, this will be Speedy wearing power armor. This will be Cap, uh, who's the number two. Uh, this is Doc wearing power armor. And this is Snipes, who will have the bolter. Uh, we have our deranger from our last mission, who will be situated behind this truck. Uh, our initiative order will stand at uh, Cap going on 25, the deranger, who is on phase two, going on 24, Speedy on 20, Doc on 17, then the deranger again on 14, and then Snipes pulling up the rear on 13. The deranger is a monstrosity. Uh, so we are on round one. Let's clear the dice out of the pot. Hopefully I'll cut that little bit out for you so you didn't have to watch me clear dice out of a pot. And we will start. We have Cap. Cap has a dexterity of 14. Uh, I have measured this, so I know this should be okay. So this is eight, so we'll say eight to there. Nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, meaning Cap will end up about there. So Cap will come from here, running across the uh, jump boots, and then ending here, uh, giving Cap a view of the deranger, and then Cap will roll to hit the deranger. Uh, Cap has a 23, the deranger has a defense of 25. Cap needing twos. 19, critical hit. Uh, critical hit, doing 4d6 plus two because of our Artec weaponry, uh, plus two. So this plus two doubled. Not great, is it? Uh, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 38 points on the deranger, uh, which puts it down to 137. Being a monstrosity, it will react uh, to your 
to being critically hit. So it will act. Everything within 12 inches can get affected. So that would just be dock. So we do have, uh, it has a nightmare pulse, but I think it's, my bonus activation means you have the conclusion of the activation that the model scored the critical hit. So that'd be now. Uh, if it does a nightmare pulse, that means Cap has to do a fortitude check of 23 or take 2d6 damage plus two, or it could run up and do three attacks and possibly blind Cap. Cap is immune to being blinded, so we might try and stun him. So it will use Nightmare Pulse, because it says if the deranger did not use Nightmare Pulse during its last activation, it will now use this action. So it is going to Nightmare Pulse, which only affects Cap. Cap needs to make a 23 fortitude save, Cap's fortitude is 15, uh, so Cap passes, uh, being 25, uh, 33 Cap passes. That was uh, the Deranger, then the Deranger will go again. Uh, what do we have in its thing? Uh, no, it's not within one inch. No, it's not within one inch. It is within its movement distance of an enemy and there is no enemy one inch, it will move the enemy with the lowest hit points. Which was tank, tank is out. Snipes has the lowest hit points, which is over, Snipe is over here. The deranger has a dexterity of 23. We've got eight, 16, so 16 to there. 17, 18, 19, 20, yeah, that's exactly 23. So the deranger is gonna run from here, pass Cap to Snipes, who he senses with his psionic powers, has the lowest uh, hit points, and then he will attempt to do his basic psionic lash attack, which he will make three attacks with psionic lash. Uh, well, it could go, it could try and attack both of them, couldn't it? It might just about, let's, let's say it can move the extra inch and also and get attack on both. Uh, uh, so that would be against Snipe and Doc. So let's say one, two, three, Snipe gets two, one, two, three, Snipe gets two attacks. Okay, so two attacks on Snipes. Uh, oh, maybe both miss. So it has a combat of 22, which would give it a 26 and a 29, both missing uh, Snipes. If the attack, nope, that's if attack hits. And then one against Doc. Oh, I think that misses as well. So that's that's 31. Uh, 31, Doc has a 32, so missing Doc. So it runs across, uh, psionic lashing, lash, 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 uh, and missing all three. Next we have Speedy. Uh, this is Speedy. Uh, Speedy might call in the drones because uh, it's the easiest thing to do. The drones is a plus 19 attack. <laughs> Natural 20. Uh, I guess that means the drones do double damage. So the drones come swooping in. Uh, they, and it will go again, won't it? Uh, they do 5d6 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so we've got 10, 15, 17, 34 points on the deranger, leaving it on 103. It will then have, if it starts its activation with one inch of an enemy, it did not attack during, no it did. One inch of an enemy, it attacked during its last activation, it will move its four movement points with the, towards the enemy with the lowest hit points within its range. So not one of these two. So the one with the lowest hit points within its range is Cap. So it's gonna run up behind Cap over here. Uh, or it might do one of his, its pulse things. Oh, what? actually, it might stay where it is and then pulse, because if it pulses again, it's gonna get eight, nine, 10. Yeah, it will get everyone. So everyone will have to, so it's now gonna do a, a nightmare pulse, which means everyone needs to make a 23 fortitude check. So we'll go reds is cap, greens is uh, speedy, they both have 15 fortitude. Uh, so what's that? So that would be 22 missing, 
and that'll be 24 hitting. So reds was cap, greens was speedy, so cap fails, speedy passes. So cap takes 2d6 damage. Oh no, hold on. Uh, cap takes 2d6 plus 2 damage and is stunned. Oh no, uh, so the ablative armor uh, saves him, but he is stunned. There was a little glitch just then, I forgot to go and get the counter, so I just went and got him just then. So he is stunned, uh, but he took no damage because his ablative armor absorbed it. Uh, and next we will have uh, red is Doc, green is Snipes. Uh, Doc has 15, Snipes has 11. Red is Doc, green is Snipes. Uh, 15, that would be 26, passing. Uh, a foul for Snipes. Snipes taking 2d6 plus, hold on, that doesn't matter because it means that Snipes, uh, here we go. Snipes is stunned and his ablative armor takes the hit. Uh, so that was the, so we had Cap, Deranger, Speedy, Deranger, so the Deranger is gone. Now we have Doc, uh, Doc being there, Doc will use his high energy rifle, so he will move away and shoot with his high energy rifle, uh, being, uh, Doc has a 19. So he needs to roll, what's he need to roll? He needs to roll sixes. Uh, <laughs> Doc misses, he rolled five. Uh, so Doc misses, and then we have Snipes. Snipes is stunned, so Snipes has to try and do stun, which I think is a 42-25. Um, no, that's just a 20, so Snipes is stunned. I think stunned is half combat, half dex. I will just double check. I was right, it's half combat, half text. Well done me, only took me uh, 22 missions, not including the special ones to remember. Half combat, half deck, so that means half combat, he has a 28, which would be a 14. So he will fire his grenade, half combat, half dex. His dex is only 12, so he can move six inches. So he will move to here to just create some distance. Uh, and he will launch his grenade launcher at the dude. Uh, so he has got a 14, uh, which gives a 23, uh, and he needs a 25, so he misses. Uh, that is the end of round two. We could do a foobar if we liked, a one, nothing. Uh, round two. Uh, top of round two, we have Cap. He's up there and he's stunned, so Cap needs to do his stun, natural 20, Cap gets rid of his stun. Sadly, he's probably wasted that for his hit. Uh, Cap will then launch a grenade launch. Oh, maybe he can, maybe if he goes up. Uh, one, two, three, uh, that would be 11. Would put Cap, if he ran across and then use his jump boots to just come to here, which gives him the height that if the deranger runs around, he can still game. Uh, he will then do a shot down on the deranger from up there. Uh, he again has a 23, which means he needs twos. A four, uh, which means he still hits. Uh, doing 46 plus two damage. Uh, five, 15, doing 17 points of damage on the deranger which I think puts it on 86. Uh, now the deranger goes, so it did use Nightmare Pulse. If it begins its activation with at least one enemy within 12 inches that is either stunned or blinded, yes, it does, uh, it has uh, snipes, that enemy must succeed on a fortitude stat check of 24 or suffer an additional 5d6 damage and immediately move 12 inches away from the deranger. Basically, he's doing a deep nightmare psychic attack on uh, Snipes, who actually has psionics. He can remove blindness, but we, we don't have anyone blinded, and he can also do psionic healing. He maybe can heal himself next turn. But anyway, Snipes needs to make a fortitude check, which Snipes is rubbish at. Snipes has 11 fortitude. He needs to save versus 24, so he needs to roll 13s. 11, nope, he fails, so he takes 5d6 damage. Uh, and then he needs to leg it 12 inches. He's gonna take uh, 10, 20, 
23 points of damage, minus two because of the ablative armor, meaning 22. Uh, putting snipes on four hit points, and then snipes runs 12 inches directly away, uh, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So he legs it. Oh, he's got about half dex there, isn't he? Oh no, it just says 12 inches, so we'll do what it says. So he runs over to here. Can you see that? I think so. Still, after all this time, not used to using this hand thing. Right, that was the Deranger. Now we have Speedy. Speedy is over there. Speedy could call in the other drones, which is a call to aid, which is around two. Uh, I think we still, so he would get, need to roll six or more on a, on a two-sided, on a D6. Uh, or he could try and do two, two, six, two D6 damage uh, on it anyway. So I think he'll, he'll do that because he's not had a chance to actually shoot something in ages. So he is going to run across, jump onto the roof of the car and do his high energy rifle shot down. Uh, Speedy has a combat of 18, meaning he needs to roll sevens. <laughs> Only just hitting, rolling an eight, doing uh, 2d6 plus two energy damage, doing seven points of damage. Well, you might as well have called in the drones. Leaving it on 79, it will go into extremists on 40. Uh, that was Speedy. Then we have Doc, who is here. Uh, Doc will do a shot with his high energy rifle. Doc has 19s and so needs to roll sixes. <laughs> Seven, so only just hitting again. 2d6 plus 2, high energy, doing 4 points of damage. Leaving the deranger uh, slightly perturbed and on 75. Uh, now we've got the deranger again. I don't, I think it does have the third go this time, doesn't it? He hasn't consumed them all like it did last time. So the deranger gets to go. Uh, what do we got? It used that. It didn't use its nightmare pulse. It does have two within uh, within 12 inches. Maybe it will nightmare pulse. Otherwise, it could run up and use its cyanic lash. Makes three attacks with cyanic lash. 1d6 plus two. If it hits, they're blinded. Maybe it's going to attempt to do that because if it can blind, oh, or the other one stuns them. Within 12 inches is just these two. Pretty sure. What have we got? Eight. Yeah, all right, so it will use, it didn't use Nightmare Pulse last time. The last time it used Deepening Nightmare, so it's gonna Nightmare Pulse the pair of them, uh, which means they both need to make 23 fault checks. So red will be speedy, green will be dock. Uh, so I think they're both failed. Uh, what have we got? We got 15, so we've got 18 for speedy, and we've got 25 for dock. So Speedy fails, Doc succeeds, which means Speedy takes 2d6 plus 2 damage. And Speedy's ablative armor. No, so that's all absorbed by ablative armor. But then Speedy is stunned. Uh, and Speedy's ablative armor takes the hit. Uh, so that was the deranger. And then finally we have Snipes. Snipes has 12 inch our first snipes will try and shift this stun, otherwise he doesn't have 12, he has six. Nat 20, so snipes shifts the stun and we'll just say that can be up to there, he's six inches, or 12 inches rather, because he's got a 12 dex. Uh, he will then attempt to do a shot down on the deranger. Uh, he has a 28, so basically it's anything but a one. Uh, 10 hits, so he does 5d6. Uh, plus two damage. That's more like it. So that's 18, that's 20, that's 26 on the deranger. Putting it on 49 hit points. Uh, so that was snipe, so that was round two. So that's the end of round two. I mean, we might as well do foobar, might we? A six, so foobar goes off, right? Give us a second, pull up the table. Roll in the d20. 
A 13. 13, alien creature. No, I'm not going to do another second alien creature. Uh, I will not do a second alien creature, so instead I'm going to reroll. Six. Civilians. Fair enough. Uh, all these cars, we've noticed that there's a couple of civilians still in some of these cars who at this point panic and run away. Uh, round three. The reason I'm not doing another alien is it's enough dealing with one alien. Though I am getting used to them now, after all these missions, I'm getting used to how they work, but still. Uh, that's it for Fubar. Top of round three. If Cat can do enough damage, this thing will go, well, it's, it goes into Extremism 40. It's got 49 hit points left, so Cat will take a shot at it. Uh, Cat needs any uh, two twos or more. Uh, hitting. 46 plus 2, doing uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 points, putting it on 39. It is in extreme. Oh, put the pencil. It is in extremis. So excited. Uh, so, being in extremis, it will take 2d6 damage because it's, the big, it's now its turn. Uh, take 7 points, putting it on 32. It now gets two activations, so it's first activation. Uh, it does have someone stunned within 12 inches, so Speedy needs to make a 24 fault check. Uh, I think that passes. That definitely passes, his rolls a, 50, a 30. So he passes, so nothing happens, but he's still stunned. If the range begins activation with at least one enemy within 12 inches that is stunned or blinded, it will utilize deepening nightmares. Okay, so it will do it again. It will do it again because it's still there and it's still stunned. Uh, that fails, being a 31, which means Speedy takes... F is Speedy taking any damage here? Yes, yes. So Speedy takes 5 d6 damage, uh, taking 10, 15, 18 points of damage, and Speedy will run away 12 inches. Uh, so a minus two because of his armor, which means he's left on 14 hit points. And then he runs away 12 inches, which is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. He's over here and stunned. Uh, so that was Speedy and now it is Speedy's turn. Uh, let me think, 32 points. He can't do 32 points by himself. But he can, if he calls in the drones, it's round three, he will attempt to call in drones. Uh, he needs to roll what, uh, three or more? Three, three exactly, three plus three is six. The drones come in, that's a plus 21, 21 attack. Uh, so he needs to roll fours or more, 13 hits, does 5d6 plus four, I think it said. Doing 12, 13, 14, 19, 23 points on the D Ranger, leaving it on nine hit points. So it's on nine hit points. Uh, that was speedy. Now we have Doc. Uh, Doc will attempt to shoot it with his high energy rifle. Doc has 19, so he needs to roll sixes. Let's try and use the red D20. Sevens, only just hits. Doing 2d6 plus two. Nine points to kill it. Uh, four, five, so that does six points on it, leaving it on three hit points. <sighs> okay, now it is the deranger's turn. It is in extremis, so it does 2d6 damage to itself. Three points, which is exactly what is left on. Uh, and the deranger melts into the asphalt and that's it that's the end of the mission nobody went down everything was finished by round three uh, our next mission will be our penultimate mission that well, will be the last the last standard mission uh, unless we fail so what I will do is I might go roll that up now rejig the table and then play that straight away so if I'm still wearing the same shirt now you know why uh, I won't do one of the normal closing speeches, I don't think. Instead, I think I will end there. Thank you very much for watching. 
Uh, Cap says thank you. Uh, Snipe says thank you very much. Uh, Doc says how about subscribing? That sounds good. And uh, Speedy uh, is too stunned to say uh, do hit the thumbs up, like, or put a comment in if you've got one. Otherwise, a whole lot of them uh, say we'll see you next time.